When it comes to 3D printing, sometimes you'll find a model which is just too small. It might be brittle, or it might be completely unprintable. You see here in FDM, this model would not come out well. It would be a struggle because the arms and the weapons are quite tiny. Luckily, we can use Mesh Mixer to thicken bits that are quite small. First of all, you're going to need to obviously open Mesh Mixer and import the model that you want to thicken. I then like to use the analysis section and the thickness tool to double check areas of the model which appear that they need to be thickened. You can see here, as you adjust this minimum thickness slider, Mesh Mixer will highlight areas of the model which are below that minimum thickness, as you see here. As expected, the arms and the weapons are the bits that need to be thickened. Once you've settled on the parts that you're going to thicken, the next step is to select these. Choose select from the menu on the left, and then either drag around as I have done, or use the brush tool to paint the area that you need. You're then going to go into edit and offset, and you'll see, particularly if you've done a small section, it should edit pretty quickly. Naturally, this is a small model, so larger offsets will lose more and more detail, but for this case, an offset of 0.5 should ensure that an extra one millimeter thickness is added, because obviously the offset is added both sides. Soft transition is used to blend the offset section back into the original model. So you see here, if I set this to four, you can't tell where the join is anymore. It's been blended. I like to whack the accuracy up nice and high to try and retain as much of the detail as possible. And then also preserve boundary to again maximize the detail. If offsetting a large amount, you'll want to turn preserve boundary off. Then you can click accept. And as you see, the model is looking pretty nice now on that side. Much more likely to come out well when printed. I'm now gonna do the same again on the right hand side. I'll speed through it. You go to select, draw around the area you need, and that is then selected. If you accidentally select too much, you can hold shift and paint the area to remove bits that have been selected that shouldn't have been, like so. Then it's time to do the offset again. So we're gonna go across to edit and offset and you see, we use similar settings that we did before. Lovely stuff. Once the offset is done, it's good to go to analysis and inspector, and then just check that the operation hasn't created any holes. If it has, you can just click the pinpoints to fill the holes back in and then click done. Finally, you can export the model and put it into your slicer. And you'll see now, when compared to the original model, that it's quite a bit thicker and should print much better. That's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Also, let me know what you use this process for. It would be great to know. Cheers.